This weekend, thousands gathered at the National Mall to mark 60 years since Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. led the March on Washington for jobs and freedom. But there was another memorable voice that day. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the big Marian Anderson world. sang an old African American spiritual shared wide. through oral tradition. Anderson is a civil rights icon, and we visited a museum in her hometown dedicated to her legacy that's fallen on hard times and working to rebuild. In this quiet Philadelphia neighborhood, a small museum tells the story of Marian Anderson, a woman who gave voice to a movement. Anderson is best known for performing on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial in 1939. She originally planned to sing for an integrated audience at Washington's Constitution Hall, but a ban on black performers denied her that opportunity. Racism had forced Anderson to leave the U.S., but it was her voice that powered her to international stardom. Jillian Patricia Pertel is the CEO of the National Marian Anderson Museum in Philadelphia. What she did was represent hope, possibility, and opportunity for black people. Treasures are found throughout the museum Anderson once called home. Among them, the phone she used to answer the call about performing at the March on Washington. This phone just speaks of history and speaks of the stories and the life. You can even see original programs from her historic concerts. But in the summer of 2020, disaster struck during the COVID shutdowns. A burst water pipe caused a major flood. Water was hitting my knees. Dozens of artifacts were either lost or damaged, and the building needed repairs. When you see such history just floating and you don't know how it's going to be fixed. It, it was more than I could bear. While the museum remains closed for now, volunteers and donations are helping to bring it back to life. This was also damaged in the flood. It was. It took the restorers over a month and a half to try to get it fixed, but they did, and it looks gorgeous. In the meantime, Pertel holds pop-up presentations at area schools so students like 10-year-old Elijah Horse can learn about Anderson's legacy. What do you hope people take away from Marian Anderson's life? That she was um, a very important activist and that she was a very strong singer. Beautiful. An opera singer herself, Pertel says she was inspired by Anderson as a child. Now it's her turn to carry the torch. Oh, say, can you see? Preserving Anderson's music and memory for generations to come.